Over the past few months, I've posted a variety of videos, from guides to random flips to montages. And believe it or not, I do go through the comments of each video. I don't usually respond, but today we'll be doing something different. Hi guys, this is Egwick, and today I'll be debunking common excuses Valorant players make. If you like this vid, please consider subscribing to the channel. It's free and you can always unsubscribe at any time. Enjoy. Also, I stream every day at twitch.tv slash and I'll be live when this video comes out. Firstly, I don't want to start a witch hunt against these people, so I'm going to be blurring out their names. Okay, let's get into it. Asia silvers are equivalent to NA or EU diamonds, or some sort of variation of this that implies that players on Asian servers are better than players on other servers. I don't understand why this comes up in the comments, but I've been getting it a lot more recently. I don't think this is true. For one, there isn't any way to verify this claim unless you've played a good amount on both servers, which is highly unlikely. Even then, your personal experience isn't enough to stereotype the thousands of players on each server. The basis for this comment usually comes from watching NA or EU players gameplay. But what's funny is that when I played in silver for my no crosshair to diamond series, I had a bunch of people commenting that oh herder NA silver is so bad, in Asia they would one tap you every round herder. But I actually play on Asian servers and the clips they were watching were against Asian players. This excuse is more about how lower ranked players view themselves rather than the actual skill level of players across regions. You're convincing yourself that your region is much better than others to justify why you're not ranking up or improving. You don't see higher ranked players complaining about this stuff. Next is lag or bad connection. Now there's nothing we can do about horrible ping. Complain to your ISP or something because that's completely unrelated to the game. However, there are some players who love to blame lag when they're on 20 MS. That's a problem. I feel like unless you're in Immortal Plus, anything below 80 ping doesn't make that much of a difference, but that's just my opinion. I'm not a duelist, I don't need kills, or you're a duelist, why aren't you top frag? I think a lot of people are misguided about this. A duelist's main role is to create space for the team. Usually, that means you're gonna entry and try to get one kill and then get traded out. Sometimes you won't even get kills, but the value in a duelist is to help the team clear the site. Valorant isn't like League of Legends or Dota where certain roles need kills and certain roles don't. Any role should be able to frag out given the right circumstances and the duelist shouldn't be expected to frag out all the time. This mindset is so common in low elo and I don't think it's correct. I am literally Sinatra, but I can't rank up because my guards only give me 30 minutes on my computer a day. Can you help? Rough, GG go next. You can reach a higher rank with a higher refresh rate. While a higher refresh rate does help a lot, it's not impossible to rank up without upgrading your hardware. When I used to grind ranked, a player in my stack had 60Hz and another had 70Hz monitors. These are pretty low compared to 144Hz, but one is now immortal and the other is radiant. I will say though that the switch from 60Hz to 144Hz is a big change and I definitely recommend switching if you have the money to do so. He blind fired through smoke and killed me. Firing through smoke isn't always 100% blind. The guy could be predicting your location based on your shot tracers, especially if you're on a vandal. Or they could have pre-fired a common spot. Sometimes it's not even blind at all because they could have seen you on the minimap through another player's cone of vision. While there is some luck involved with spraying through smoke, the enemy's decision to fire through smoke isn't random and if they have good crosshair placement, they're bound to get a few kills. My teammates never do anything. Sometimes this is valid and sometimes it's not, but I think a good mindset to have is to focus on what you can control and improve on that. You can't control your teammates, so there's no point in getting frustrated about them. Sometimes your teammates will lose you games, but that's normal and everyone has to deal with that. Anyway, that's it for this video. I'm still unsure about where to go with my content, but I have been posting some Apex and Minecraft at the end of my stream highlight vids. If you do like this series, please let me know in the comments down below and maybe I'll make a part 2. Also, thank you guys for 84k subscribers. This is Egwick, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.